Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be looking at some malware that I made. This is some real skitty stuff, some script kitty, beautiful malware that I've made in batch script. So this is not really malware, I mean it is malicious software, I suppose in the most basic sense, but it's not really malware in the fact that it's like a compiled exe or whatever. So uh, basically we have this... Uh, Brickinator. So this is Brickinator. So what does this do? Well, this is a multiple choice um, batch sort of menu thing, and each of the choices does a different malicious payload. So just for the purposes of testing here, I have labeled what these actually do. There's three so far. Now the first option here just says lucky, and it does nothing. It just says pause. Now the second option is win logon, and some more loyal viewers may recognize that as this is the registry key from the, I believe it's called uh, this registry key destroys windows video. A lot of people disagreed sort of on the way to fix it, but you do need to go out of windows itself to fix this. You need some sort of recovery environment. I'm not going to show this one in this video just to save time because um, I'll leave the link to that video I'll put a card or something I'll probably put a card um, so you can see what this does uh, but this one here will basically stop you from logging in or it'll stop Windows from working properly depending on which version of Windows you're running it on and it'll shut down all of the actual payload options will shut down so we have payload 3 just says 2 of a Dale I coded this uh, while I was in discord so some of these are funny and option number 4 um, deletes everything on the C drive and then hides any error messages and then it taunts you by saying lucky for you dare to go again now this doesn't actually work I don't think because the program finishes this routine and then crashes out before it displays this message but the idea of this is that it's supposed to make you think that you got away like this wasn't actually malicious but the malicious ones as I said will shut down and this will shut down after it's done. Now payload 5 says just nothing, it's not a payload, it says subscribe PC PAL on YouTube. And then more image file execution options, mischievous activities here um, in payload number 6. So you can see that we have hooked command prompt, task manager, control panel, reg edit, explorer, group policy editor, and the management console into nothing. So that's going to be difficult to fix. This one, you would have to do the same sort of thing as the WinLogon one, where you get into some sort of recovery environment, load up the registry and fix it again, and Payload 7 just says dare to roll again. So number one just says lucky, and number two does the WinLogon thing, and then it goes to shut down the machine. So just to speed this up, we're going to go shutdown A. So we'll board it and we will restart it right now ourselves. And we can see this should work because I guess Windows has blue screen, so that payload worked as intended. Alright, so we're back in and we can choose number 3, which just says do it for Dale. Number 4 is our drive deletion payload. And you can see that the resume script didn't work. Okay, whatever. Even though it did. Um, and we can see that our bricked up malware, our beautiful folder, has been deleted. Deleted. And our documents. Our sample music and pictures are gone. And I believe it is recursively deleting everything. Now what I will actually do just to make this a bit better is we will take the disk out of the drive because it will probably be able to restore files from the drive. So that's the helping hand gone there. I didn't mean to leave the Windows XP Pro disk in the drive but it's gone now. And we should be seeing some of these folders yep this is an update folder and it's empty and the script crashed and it says that files <laughs> it's got three of them files that are required for windows to run have been replaced so we can retry and it's not going to work cancel yes 
yes, cancel, yes, cancel, cancel. It just does not want us to say no. Um, notice the shutdown prompt didn't even work, so that's not a good thing. So we're getting loads of Windows file protection errors, which is surely a good sign. So let's just do the only sensible thing and restart. And we can see that uh, this is supposed to say something, isn't it? I feel like I've seen this enough times I should know if that's supposed to say something. But whatever. So we can see we've lost our win logon beauty here. We're just on the sort of domain logon, I believe, or log off this is used for. Alright, so again, another win for the payload here. Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt. And that is the hardware abstraction layer tells hardware and drivers how to work properly so you can't really recover from this this would be one that you would have to just format and reinstall your documents are gone anyway there's nothing unless you really wanted to try and see if there's anything left you know if your files were super important to you but yeah you would probably just want to reinstall this one now the final payload I think is probably my favorite because it sort of leaves you the most helpless if you don't know how to fix it. So again you basically have to um, just do the whole loading the registry hive and fixing it um, in a recovery environment thing. So this one is assorted lols and it has written all of our keys to the registry which is lovely. It has written seven keys to the registry if I can count. And we will go ahead and shut down abort because that stops you shutting down until the timer has elapsed now this is one where if this was running in the background or if this had ran in the background you probably wouldn't really notice anything was amiss um, I guess until you tried to open a new Explorer window but you know you wouldn't really I mean if you just had everything already open and then you turned off your computer for the day and you're like right I'll come back tomorrow you wouldn't know anything had really gone on Alright, so here we go. So I did not do win log on on this one, so you can get on the computer. Kind of. And you get nothing. Why do you get nothing? Well, because the Explorer shell has been hooked to nothing. Control Alt Delete does nothing. You do not get Task Manager. And yeah. Can press shift f10 for command prompt i don't think that actually works at this point but it wouldn't anyway because command prompt is also hooked to nothing so this would have to be one where you get the registry hive and you fix it so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i uh, would also like to thank you for watching every video on the channel if you have i mean the amount of support and views and this early in my sort of youtube journey is pretty surprising and i'm real thankful for it I appreciate all of the comments saying that, you know, I should be having more subscribers and everything like that. I really appreciate that. I also appreciate the hate comments, like this one. Um, and I appreciate um, the uh, Linux users that crowded around in my last video about... Uh, well, it wasn't my last video, but the video about the uh, Windows 10 IoT ISO. I appreciate that YouTube... Uh, deleted that original video because I put the link to download the ISO which is not a protected file it's not activated um, but I put that link in there and they uh, deleted that video or struck it off and I got a warning yeah thank you very much for watching and thanks for liking subscribing thanks for hating and typing out comments that are anti me or the videos um, keep it up I like it and uh, yeah Thanks, hopefully we'll see you in the next video.